Hi guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Almost 2 a.m. here right now in Dhaka. And uh, I thought of doing a list, thought of doing a few videos, then I'm like, I'm going to stick to maybe one fragrance related video and one morning thoughts. Um, I basically feel this way because when the year is ending, you have to do some list, you know, like what is your summary throughout the year? What did you feel? What the best purchase? I did a video yesterday. So today's episode, I want to do something like what are the best fragrance in your hum in my humble opinion in from the designer's side and uh, these are strictly you know my choices everybody's choice is going to be different this is what makes it interesting so i thought of it thought about it you know many of you may hate this you know many many of you feel this video is not right but you know this is what makes it interesting like one reviewer's taste is different from others right so i have uh, 20 fragrances um, plus one tie so basically 21 fragrances and these are according to my liking i had to sacrifice so many of my favorite fragrances trust me when i say that and believe you me you know that's that's the term right so please bear with me it was not easy for me to pick up this fragrance there are many fragrances which were in my list before last year previous years they didn't make it this year so i thought like make it a little bit interesting okay so some old some new let's see what you get so honorable mention, I have only one. I put this initially in my list, but you cannot find this formulation anymore, which is why it's here. This is Gyalan Lige. Please check out my review on this. I love it so much. And sorry about the mess here and here. I actually kept, you can see a little bit of my box. I should have removed it. Here, the green box, because I had to take out a lot of other fragrances. This hands down is one of the best perfumes like ever. And if you ever find it, treasure it, okay? So my honorable mention, it's a priceless fragrance. Long standing Gyalan Extreme. So that's the only honorable mention. I'm wearing Versace Purum, which was also featured in many of my lists before, but didn't make it this year. Even Dior Savoir didn't make it this year. So what are the things that made? Uh, let's go one by one. If you understand, 20 to 1, it's kind of like ranking, but when they made the card out of thousands, like few thousands, they have to be special, okay? So uh, this is just, I can fit only 20 fragrances in this list. So that's what I'm doing, okay? Understand it. Please, no hard feelings, okay? Number 20 is Bentley for Man, Intense. This fragrance, I never ran out of it. I never ever finished a bottle or like, let's say I have a decan page, I finished it. I never felt like rebuying it. No, never happened. So this is why, uh, you know, this list is about the scent profile, how much I love it, how much I wore it, how much history I had and how much value they offer. You know, Bentley definitely has made a masterpiece here. They have a lot of great fragrances, but this one I regard as highest. Bentley for many intense. Please check out my review. Boozy, uh, leather, woody. Uh, it's just like a spicy this fragrance never ever fails to captivate okay number 20 is bentley for men intense number 19 i'm gonna go with this fragrance dolce and gabbana the one edt so see i as you already seeing the pattern it's not gonna be what is obvious obvious some of them are obvious some of them are not aqua did you profimo didn't make it why i love it but i didn't put it this year simple why the edt is here when they have so many other mysterious night luminous night edp i tried them all they're great uh, royal nights all great but the main the main you know like the fragrance that is responsible for all the flankers is this one and this one is such a masterpiece the edt always was in love with this perfume always had a bottle uh, always loved it. it it actually gets beast mode in summer for me so it's not the performance that made this fragrance you know in this list it's just the overall vibe from this fragrance it's masculine it's boozy tropical it's got that nice little uh, tobacco uh, just try it amber fantastic fragrance if you never owned it give it a thought dolce and gabbana one edt one of the fragrance i made uh, in this list um, which made it in the list sorry number 18 one of the interesting ones that i i thought like let's put some interesting ones you know let's not put all the big names you know like stronger with you absolutely the whole line i did not pick anything from there just to make room for some of the some of the stars which deserve to be in this spot sometimes get the love at least have four or five fragrances like that today so number 18 Mercedes-Benz Club Black. This fragrance is discontinued. Okay, I'm gonna speak slow so you understand you listen to me. <laughs> I recently bought this fragrance uh, recently, just I had to buy a backup because my other bottle was finishing. How much I love this when I spray this on, the quality of this fragrance. If this was not a Mercedes-Benz, people would buy this with $200. That's expensive, it smells. Such a great gourmand sweet. Um, it has like that winter vibes, very, very beautiful. It has that Guerlain quality about it, you know, absolutely love it. It's playful, it's sweet, vanilla, boozy as well. Definitely check it out. Mercedes Benz Club Black, definitely 
I regard it very highly. And among many of my affordable fragrances, this is one of the best ones, okay? That's number 18. Number 17, it's an old boy. And this one usually makes my top five top here and there. I just put it a little bit of back. I, I'm pretty sure he's not going to mind, but it's always in the list. That's the most important thing. This is a timeless classic. This is called Dior's Fahrenheit. And again, just like the other brothers, it has thousands of flankers. I have had uh, almost all of them apart from the summer ones. But Fahrenheit is the best one, in my humble opinion, from this line. Once again, because it's responsible for all the other flankers. The gasoline, the violet leaves, man, the leather. Oh, that, uh, again, the gasoline, you know, the smell of petrol. You know, this one, I just cannot resist. First time I sniffed it, I was blown away. Because I smell many of the other fragrances. They smell like, okay, great. Uh, obvious something really really up close but there's nothing like Fahrenheit I never saw anything like Fahrenheit in my life okay such a great fragrance for fall summer winter it's a versatile perfume the newer formulation a little bit weak but doesn't matter Fahrenheit is still one of the best fragrance Dior ever made okay so still in production lucky for us Dior's Fahrenheit number 16 <clears throat> then hit number 15 number 16 is a fragrance I thought of which one to put it in this list I was gonna go with the extreme one but then I'm like no one second the original one one my heart victor and Ross spice bomb yeah you can get the extreme version you can have no loss no regret nothing got the vanilla tobacco more spices this one got the cinnamon pink pepper tobacco once again it's just so captivating when i spray this on it's a playful uh, bad boy kind of a fragrance i do love ch man Privé. i do love uh, kevin Herrera bad boy le parfum i love a lot of bad boy fragrances but this one is the ultimate one i'll tell you um it's true and true it's a a fragrance they made which has to be in the uh, hall of fame okay so definitely victor and ralph spice bomb um just a classic uh, fragrance for me i have another one that's similar to this both made the list but spice bomb salute absolute beauty it's money well uh, worth okay number 15 here goes another one and uh, this is from my favorite you know this is like a classic i just always loved it i picked this one over versace purum today because i use this Few more years then versace forum this is called polo blue edt so this is my sentiment you know i'm putting this you don't have to even like this it's okay okay but polo blue is the best fragrance from this house i'm actually wearing uh, polo explorer also in my hand uh, just like after the evening walk and all that but uh, polo blue hands down if not the best this is one of the top sellers also from this house what i like about it is the ozonic quality in summers it just smells so good when you enter a room you bring freshness with you you know it's just a classic fragrance masculine fragrance a blue fragrance absolute love polo blue edt the bottle is just stunning number 14 it's a relatively newer fragrance but not brand new anymore jean paul gautier lamal le parfum i picked this up over the original many of the other flankers as well ultra male uh, lamal parfum essence de parfum and then the other ones you know like so many other ones are there and they're all great no problem but this one ultimate uh the last release of this line was i think this one and they put like labo few of the other ones but nothing beats this one for me the smell the scent profile the sweetness the iris the sweet properties it got some leather as well it got some lavender it, it's like sweet fresh everything you know it literally has iris as well uh, you have to own this fragrance if you you know, a collector sort of like 20 to 50 fragrance. This one has to be in your list. Okay. So I picked it up this year. This is called Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Molle Parfum. Still not reformulated. So it's a good news. Then next one, we're going to go with Cartier. These are the fragrances I just absolutely am proud of. Many reviewers will not pick them, you know, because they are not well known. They are not top sellers. This perhaps is not top seller. This perhaps is a house not many people care for. But Cartier makes jewelry and they make some great watches and they make some great fragrances there's nothing in the market that's similar to the class of this and longevity is through the roofs check out my review of cardia roadster it's a fragrance it's unbelievable mint patchouli vanilla i think there's some of the other notes there it's like a spearmint kind of smell but you can detect it throughout the whole day beast mode activated absolute love this is a masterpiece okay so definitely i'll put it here this year's uh, one of the entries this is called Cartier Roadster. Next one, my hype. I'm very proud of it. Nowadays, many people love this. Many people talk about it and the flankers get love. But when this was out, not that much love. Most of the reviewers canceled it. They're like, it's okay. It's similar to Tear Dermes. And it's a younger brother. It's a lighter version, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, with all due respect, when I say blah, 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 because it kind of made me sad. When I smell this fragrance for the first time, I fell in love with it like this, okay? And I do trust my nose. I have picked up many great fragrances. This was one of them. And I hyped it from the beginning of my channel since 2016. This is called Dunhill Icon, okay? No matter what people tell you, I did not pick Terry Hermes today. I don't find Terry Hermes as appealing as this one. Yes, with all due respect, once again, it's a fragrance complex one. You know, it's like a orangey vetiver and all that. Iso is super, but not everybody can wear this. If you give to someone, this one to someone, they're going to love you. They're going to love the bottle. They're going to love the way it smells. It got the leather, neroli, vetiver. It's, it makes a lot of things. It got spices, all your wearable. It's a masculine it's a fragrance for a man, okay? Definitely in my list, Dunhill's Icon. Number 11, then we hit top 10. Number 11 is Prada Amber Purum. Sadly discontinued, backup time. You know, I need a backup bottle of this before this one becomes super expensive. This used to be very affordable, like 45, 55 bucks you could find it. Now it's more like 75, $80, okay? Prada Amber, what it is, this one of the best, uh, like a, not to say just soapy, but it's high class bar of soap. The amber in this, the spices, the cleanliness, this smell, when I smell it first, man, the, you know, if you enter actually high class laundry, like a, not just your typical laundry, you know, and you enter, they have like a nice door to it, nice signboard to it. And then they have a little bit more expensive price tag for their services. And the moment they take out the fresh laundry, or even if you go to five star hotel, imagine they give you fresh uh, new towels, you know, like when the high, you know, like uh, hotels, you know, like when you smell those, you smell everything fresh. This is what it smells like. Beautiful fragrance. You have to have this in your collection. Some of this 20, you do want to collect. Trust me. If you never tried it, try it. Okay. Prada Amber Purum Masterpiece. Okay. So top 10. Here comes a new entry. Okay. I absolutely adore this fragrance from the first sniff. This year, I caught it this year, earlier this year. Yeah. When this was released, I couldn't wait to sniff it because people said so many high, good things about it. And they say it's a beast mode. I was like, hmm, people say stuff, but I want to try. This is one of my most favorite lines. And this is my most favorite fragrance from this line. Now, uh, 1 million Elixir by Paco Rabanne. I do love Paco Rabanne, absolutely gold, 1 million. But that one, it's very rare, super beast mode and only for winter. This one you can wear almost all year round. It's sweet, it's playful. It's a known DNA. It's similar to Stronger With You sort of vibe. It's not going to come up as very, very new, but... Whatever they made in this uh, right combination, it clicks, okay? So this year, I picked this up as one of the best designer perfumes. Paco Rabanne 1 million Elixir. Check it out. It's a very, very beautiful fragrance. Number nine, some regions, it's gone. It's discontinued. Some regions, is still available. But the prices in Bangladesh have gone high. It's not really found everywhere easily. I got a backup bottle of 150 ml of this stuff, thankfully. I love the original of this. Mind you, I love the original of it, but I thought about it. I'm like, which one I want more? This is the one I wore more than the original, okay? The reason being, stronger performance, more noticeable, beast more like projection and compliment factors, man. People compliment you on this fragrance, okay? This is called Prada, sorry, Prada Long Intense, sorry. Uh, see, two Prada already made the list, I think, yeah. So I had to pick this one, you know, I didn't want to pick too many from the same house, but this fragrance is well worth it, you know? It's like dark, it got this extra leather patchouli and they added like more iris very prominent fragrance and it's very high class when you wear it with a suit i prefer this over aqua digio profumo per se okay this is more higher class okay uh, it's again definitely full bottle worthy prada lom intense number nine number eight here comes my hype just like the icon just like the roadster polo blue mercedes benz i'm very proud of this fragrance when i smelled it first day i smelled it i was in a, in a in a zone you know like i don't know what, what i want to say but i was in that mindset i have to buy this perfume sometimes at that time i was buying chanel's i was buying dior's the best of the best of the best and then i bought this in the middle of buying those i had to make some sort of sacrifice because that time i didn't have so much money you know like to buy everyday fragrance but this is what makes it special everywhere when i wore this proudly i loved it as much as i love ultra male many of the other ones this is a fragrance you must, you must not ignore. Discontinued now and it's still super affordable. This is called CK Reveal for him. Stunning masterpiece, boozy, fruity, sweet, it's sweet. And this is my backup bottle, which is why it's kind of full. I have a bottle that I'm still using. This is intact, okay? I took it out just to show you. The bottle is a bit cumbersome, but fingerprint magnet, it's not nice, but the juice in there, 
if you want a sweet fragrance that last projects doesn't cost so much money and you just smell unique in the crowd of city nymphs and dior sauvage this is your magic fragrance okay ck reveal these are the kind of fragrance i love to put in this list that's number eight number seven not this particular fragrance but the one that it's like the main one it's called Bulgari Man in Black and I do have the All Blacks edition which is EDP intense or something like concentration really beast mode but it's okay if you have the original you don't need this it's kind of redundant but I love this fragrance Bulgari Man in Black tuberose uh, I think there's spices there is a uh, tobacco there is pink pepper or something there's a lot of pepper and the rum mouth watering fragrance man if you swear this ladies i'll just tell you one thing this is a kind of masculine fragrance ladies love on a man imagine uh, who's the dude from aquaman i love that dude he's like so you know macho and he's like kind of like that with the beard got the viking look so this is a kind of fragrance that goes with that bearded look you know you have a bit long hair big you know rugged um, man in black definitely achieves that amazing fragrance a masterpiece i love this all the time this is my number seven number six and we hit top five number six didn't make the top five because yeah, I, I, I do love all these fragrances, to be honest, but these two fragrances are, you know, you must have them in your collection. And from the same house, I couldn't pick one over the other. Pure Malt and Pure Havan. This is my last bottle of Pure Havan. I had three. And this is my uh, second last bottle of Pure Malt. I have one more backup of this, luckily. Uh, these two, Boozy King. And this is like a sweet uh, tobacco king. If you have them together, you know, if you, if you, if you layer them, you are become invincible. This one has better performance than this, but you know, if you have to collect some fragrances, these are the kind of fragrance you must collect. Okay. Tear me, you pure heaven and pure malt. I'm not going to speak so much because people know about them. So top five, what are my crazy <laughs> picks this year? And some of you will be like, no, you know, you'll be like, no, nah, I didn't click with me, didn't feel the vibe. You know, these are not the best. I have better alternative. Yeah, please do uh, provide me. I would like to know your taste too. But this is my choice. This is my list. Number five, Boss Bottled. Hugo Boss Bottled. Not the ADP, not the ADP Intense, not ADD Intense, not the whole line that I have almost. I have about, I don't remember how many bosses I have, but this is the ultimate boss for me. When I smell this, cinnamon, apple, kind of like a, sweet dreamy a fluffy almost citrusy kind of a fragrance that reminds me of fall you know this is such a manly fragrance i remember this dna was everywhere in malaysia every shopping mall anywhere I enter when there was no savage there was hugo boss bottle when there was no aqua digio profumo there was boss bottle when there was no hype of eros there was this fragrance okay so i'm not saying those fragrances are bad but this one ruled for a number of years even decades i would say it's just like Fahrenheit, you know, I have a big bottle of both, you know, these are big bosses, okay. So I love this because this is my signature scent, one of them anyway. This is my number five, boss bottle. I write down the names. Number four, yeah, boring, but then again, I smelled it. Sometimes I just fall in love with fragrance all over again. This is what happens with Lanvi de Lom. There's <laughs> just nothing too much to say. Cardamom, bergamot, chocolatey notes, a little bit of spices, you know, sweet. Uh, not really long live, but nowadays you have a lot of solutions layer it with iso super or molecule o1 or albite aldi maski el nui you'll get a fantastic longevity just layer with this one because this one just like i'll tell you bulgari man in black ladies appreciate okay if you're into that kind of business like i want to make an impression in the new years get that okay great great fragrance still lanui de lombay ysl number three not a wild card entry if you know me this is not a fragrance that will surprise many of you if you know me already this is a perfume i solely love Best from Isimiyake, Isimiyake Purum Noir Amre. Just what, can, what else can I say about it? This is my last bottle. Maybe I should buy a backup, okay? More expensive than other Isimiyakes and more beast mode. This line have a lot of these dark ones, but nothing comes close to this. Just the formula is just everything is just perfect. 10 of 10 for Isimiyake Noir Amre, if you like. Amber and spices. And let's kind of got the vanillic dry down as well. So number two and number one. This year, yeah, I picked it over Dior Sauvage. And sometimes, you know, it plays tricks. Chanel or Dior, <laughs> always the battle. Uh, Sauvage or this one, this is called Bleu de Chanel and I'm picking up Parfum. So Parfum, uh, you know, I cannot say it properly. The highest concentration of Bleu de Chanel. Uh, I do love all of them. Bleu de Chanel is such a fragrance. The opening makes you 
smile the opening makes you feel you are wearing expensive stuff anywhere you wear blood chanel nobody will ever say you smell bad there's no bad time to wear blood chanel and i personally feel sometimes i love dior savage more because of the value savage is cheaper than this and it has better performance than this but when i smell them side by side savage has nothing even the elixir with all due respect they are not the same fragrance but blood chanel so good number 2 is blood chanel performed this year Let's move to number one. Can you guess what it is? Such a surprising fragrance, right? Uh, no, you did not guess it wrong. This is Dior Homme Intense, my signature scent, just like Boss Bottle. I'll always have this fragrance in my collection. This month has been a struggle for me, and I bought a backup bottle of it because check out my other bottle of 150 ml. It was running low. These are both new formulations, nothing crazy. I do have few vintages which I have like 50, 60 ml, but. I never mind the new batches. You know, if you let it sit in your collection for some time, it becomes stronger and stronger. And these have really, really good performance. Uh, no issue. People love Durum Parfum more than this. I love Durum Intense. That's just me. Okay, number one today, 2002, 22. Number one best designer fragrance of all time until this point for me is this. Okay, so that's subjective. You don't have to take it in absolute, but please do try these fragrances. I do make this content for you to go out and then try. And if you, in case, miss any of them, you're missing out on something great. Okay, have a nice day, happy holidays, and wishing you, um, you know, uh, happy new year in advance. Okay, take care and stay happy with your friends and family. Take care. Bye bye.